Hey, welcome back to another math classic, master classic, YouTube math con video. Great, good to get that out of the way. Today's video is brought to you by the good people at Microsoft. Thank you so much for creating um, Teams. This is going to be such a wonderful thing for, for students across uh, the, the world as we deal with this, this new virus, COVID-19. All right, today's video is gonna cover multiply binomials area model. And you can see here a binomial um, is an important word, it means two, like bicycle. So bi is two, so we've got two things times two things, which means we're gonna have four boxes and you can see those four boxes right here. And rather than, rather than find the area of the whole thing, we're going to find the area of this square, this square, this rectangle, this rectangle, and then we're going to add, add those up and that's going to give us the area of the whole thing, right? And remember, area is an important formula because you will buy a house one day and that house will have a price and that price will be predicated on the size and you find the size by multiplying the length um, times the width of the space okay so that's what exactly what we're going to do here cool so we've done this before in the previous video i'm going to go ahead and put ones um right here so we got one x to the first power plus seven x uh plus seven and then we got x plus three so if we rewrote this we we could we could rewrite this as x plus seven times x plus three that's what we're really doing some people might use different methods we're using the box method okay so we got one times one is one x times x is x squared one times seven is seven times x is seven x one times three is three times x is three x and three times seven is 21. so all i've done is the corresponding elements okay i've multiplied um in the correct boxes and you can see that there's a pattern here now now that we've got the four boxes multiplied what we have we can go ahead and pull them out and rank them so we got x squared plus we got a seven x Plus we got 3x, plus we got 21. When we look at this, we've got four things, which makes sense. Two times two would be four things. One, two, three, four. But two of these things are like terms, meaning that we can combine them, that we can combine them together. So we've got if we've got seven x's right here, and we've got three x's, rather than say we've got seven x's and three x's, we can just say mm, we got 10 x's. We got 10 x's. We can't say that about anything else, but we can say that we've got 10 X's. And then the rest and the rest we can't combine. So X squared plus 10 X plus 21. So although we had four things, two of those things we could combine. Um, so we, so our final answer is actually just gonna be three things. X squared plus 10 X plus 21. Hopefully I can remember that. X squared plus 10 X plus 21. Cool. Boom check, let's rock and roll. And so as we go over these, um, you should you should begin to see a pattern developing um, that I'll that I'll reveal to you on the last problem. So we got x times x is x squared. We got x times nine, that's nine x. Now we've got x times two, that's two x. And now we've got two times nine, that's eighteen. Cool. We pull them out. We got x squared plus two x plus nine x plus eighteen. Remember, I'm gonna write it in standard form that's highest to lowest right so highest to lowest exponent and two of those exponent or two of those terms are the same or alike right so if we've got two of something and nine of something then we can just say oh we've got 11 of that thing and that thing happens to be the x term and the rest we can't combine so it goes down so our final answer x squared plus 11x plus 18. x squared plus 11x plus 18. And I don't want to forget the x or I'll get it wrong. So make sure I do that right. Cool. And now, now that I've got this pattern, I know that essentially, I know that essentially this box, if these two things are x's, if the first two terms are x's, I know the top box is always going to be x squared. I know this is always going to be x squared. I know that these two are going to give me an X and so the numbers really I'm just adding those numbers so I'm just doing five five plus six to get these these two boxes and the final box I'm taking those two numbers 
the same two numbers, and I'm multiplying them to get the final box. So five times six is 30. And this is helpful for me because really this is 5x plus 6x, which is 11x. So I've already got the answer. Just by looking at those two numbers, I know the middle term is 11x and the final term is 30. So we got x squared plus 11x plus 30. So I just added those numbers to get the middle term. And then I multiplied those two numbers to get the, the constant. And I'm pretty much done. And that works only when, only when, only when these two are just x's. If they're if they're in, if they're three x or five x or some other, besides just being an x, one x, um, then we can't use the strategy. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it again. We know the first one is x squared, and then two plus six is eight, and that's the x term, and then the final one, the constant term, two times six is twelve. Boom. And that's how you multiply binomials using the area model. Good luck.